Alright guys, it's Joe here, or Cure Buttery, and I'm bringing you the Charity of the Week this week, which I've decided to pick this week as the Red Cross, or the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Foundation, as its full title, as, uh, which I had recently figured out that, uh, that that had happened. But the main reason I've actually decided to pick this charity this week is, I think for one main reason, and that's, if you watch the news, or you have any sort of, you've read about maybe what's been going on in Syria for absolutely ages, I feel like it's been going on for months and months, maybe six months, I'm not 100% sure um, but basically their, their president has what what can only, I can only describe as a, uh, like declared war on his own people and he's killing a lot of civilians and a lot of bad things are happening there and uh, basically an uprising is occurring and the international community have, I feel like have done nothing to help and to stop what's been happening um, with with Libya, we actually like sent in a lot of help, i.e., aid, uh, air blockades, and uh, naval blockades, and supplied military weapons to the rebels to get rid of Gaddafi. And you know that's actually us actively trying to help stop this man who's been killing people. You know, do this. And in terms of in Syria, that has not happened. And I just feel like we've done nothing towards it. And I I've said and a lot, haven't I? But I wanted to pick the Red Cross because they're actually helping. They're sending aid in, in actually into Syria to help out civilians who've been injured, to be, who've been killed, or you know that sort of stuff. And I feel like this this might be the only thing we can do at the moment to actually help people there. Uh, Red Cross doesn't only affect war, to, like specifically that sort of thing. They help other countries that have had you know um, mass exoduses out of countries and stuff. They help a lot with. Uh, Site people who've left countries and are refugees for help people find missing people who've been in war conflict. They also help out for natural disasters and stuff like the Japanese tsunami. The Red Cross was there. Um, I think there's been floods in China. I think they've helped there. They help everywhere basically, and it's just a really good charity that has helped helps a lot of people in from really for, for freak freak of nature sort of occurrences. And I just think it's a really important charity to sort of help uh, to help support and. Your money does really go somewhere to help people out, to help people who are in a really vulnerable position, whether it's in a in a conflict or in a natural disaster. So I'd really encourage you donating to this. Um, but main, mainly the main reason I did pick this obviously was because of this serious stuff, and it feels like we're doing nothing towards it. And this this feels like the only thing I I can think of to sort of help those people. I just think it it needs to be done. So. If you are interested in donating, please do. They do, as I've said previously, help a lot. They help with, obviously, as I said, missing families, helping with in disasters in response to it. They also help prepare for disasters in, I'm pretty sure they've helped in Bangladesh. I think it's Bangladesh or maybe somewhere in Pakistan. They have they can have really, big, really bad floods. Because the houses aren't that strong, they are just get swept away and a lot of people do die. They help prepare people for disasters that can occur, so floods, as I said, tsunamis, earthquakes, and what they'll do is they'll supply money and materials to build certain like flood defences, tsunami defences. Um, I always remember these really weird tower things. They have like their their flood like flood houses. I can only describe them as they're like made of concrete and they're like, high away from the flood so they don't get hurt and people won't die. Uh, that sort of stuff, just helping out people. And the Red Cross does actually help in first world countries i.e. Britain, America and stuff like that they do help out um, I'm not 100% sure on everything they do they do teach people a lot about you know disasters that can occur in your own country uh, they help people who are in need so uh, I just think they're an all around really good charity to go for so yeah I have I feel like this is a good charity to pick in all honesty so um, yeah I think that's that's my that's my ask to you guys for Red Cross if you are interested please do check out the website the links will be in there uh, there'll be one for the, uh, the UK and hopefully America. I'll try and get the international Red Cross and Crescent Moon up, up also there for the link if you want to have a look, have a read, see what they've actually done. And if you want to donate, please do donate because every little helps. Beautiful as to, as to quote there, but it really does help people out. Helps the people who, you know, are in a really bad state in countries and in conflicts that they have nothing to do with you know they've just been unfortunate enough to be born in that country or to be of a wrong place at the wrong time and do genuinely need people's help so there's nothing much i can say really apart from just you know just definitely give it a, give it a read give it a look over if i haven't sold it i haven't sold it but please do look uh it does mean a lot it means a lot to everyone 
every, anyone who needs that sort of help. So, um, yeah, I think I will leave it here. There's only probably about a minute left of this gameplay, and you're not really missing that much. It was like 37 for 10 gameplay, pretty fast-paced on the old drop zones. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Honestly, please do check out the charity. If you've enjoyed this, like and uh, subscribe and all that jazz. So, I will see you guys in a bizzle. Bye. I got so